Here's what I really think of Cyprus. Who will make the cut? Who will win our hearts? MJT Reviews. Mitchell James calling. Welcome back to MJT Reviews. Talking about Cyprus. Replay by Tanta. This is one of the earliest entries announced, but the song didn't come out for a really long time. It create, created buzz, it created a hype. Did it deliver to the hype? Well, let's see, I'm dissecting it, so let's begin. It was internally selected as well. This is totally Fuego 2.0, is what I hear many people saying about this song. I find it really funny that the theme of this year, and you may see it in my intro, I've written it in one of the books, see if you can find it, is that people are saying about so many songs that are just upbeat and full of energy, Fuego, Fuego 2.0, it's the new Fuego. You know, Fuego wasn't Fuego. <laughs> Fuego. <laughs> but okay, um, I like to think of this as Fuego if Fuego was good. So, there you go. There you go. I actually like this a lot more than Fuego. I think this song would have to be the best entry from Cyprus since La La Love anyway. That was my favourite Cypriotic entry from 2012. What I like about this song, well, I said it's the best Cyprus entry ever, matching La La Love. I'm not sure if it's the best song of the year, but it's really good, especially if you're going to compare it to Fuego, which Fuego was way down. I think I had it as like my 23rd favorite of the year, last year. This is much better. The outfit at the beginning with her with the pink and like a pink veil, very similar to Grease. It was like they knew what they were trying to match each other or something, or I don't know what was happening. I think they may have had talks from each other's camps and they decided let's compete with Grease, let's, let's do the same thing. But yeah, I thought that was really funny. I, I felt it was like friends that do everything together because I know how close they are anyway. So really similar. I think Grease's outfit may have beat Cypress because Cypress kind of looked like she was in one of those outfits you wear like, you know, when you get zapped. <laughs> I know like when you watch Big Brother and stuff, they wear those things where they get electrocuted and they're in like tight clothes. That's what it looked like. Um, and I think she had a pink veil on as well. So I thought it was really funny that they both wore the same thing in the same year, but you know, that's just buzz of what people are doing and people catch on and try to copy each other. It's not always such a great idea to do that. I don't know who was first. Maybe Cyprus had the idea and Greece copied. I don't know. The song is a very well produced dance track. It's got a very hooky verse and bridge slash chorus. I don't know what you want to call that. I'm calling it a bridge because it's not a chorus, it's a bridge. And then the chorus is more instrumental. That was a problem I have with this. Um, I'll talk about that later. I love the reference to 808 in the bridge slash chorus. For those who don't know, 808, 808 is like a synth instrument software device that they use and just by repeating that, you know, songs like Beyonce Deja Vu, 808. <laughs> so many people do kind of say that, Madonna, Living for Love, when I hear that 808, boom. Oh no, that's from Girl Gone Wild. When I hear the from, it's got me so 808 is mentioned a lot, and why does 808 get a lot of references? Well, for dance artists, it's their best friend, so they want to pay tribute to it. And a lot of people in the industry know 808. Maybe it's a reference for the jury. I think if a song was going to have this kind of upbeat song, and by the way, I don't think this is a Fuego 2.0. I don't know if I made that clear, but Upbeat songs, if people are trying to get something from Fuego, which did do well in the public, but it didn't ver do very well at all in the... Well, it did well. It came fifth in the jury. It lost their chances of winning because they were fifth in the jury. So by doing that to a jury, the jury going to find that really impressive. Like, the next thing to do was do what Girls' Generation did in I Got A Boy and say, reference the actual beats per minute in the song. Don't stop. 
let's bring it back to 140. I got a boy in It interests the jury and it interests people that are real dance people. Enough about the 808. This is a very long instrumental chorus. It was the only problem I had, although I really liked what they did with the instrumental chorus, but the bridge was kind of there. It wasn't enough for me to get into the chorus. It wasn't enough for me to be like, this is the moment. It was very much like, and then turn him on replay. You see Berman on replay. Bum, 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 bum. Like, come on, give me something really big. Give me something huge. I need more than like, da, 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 da. I'm really sexy. Therefore, I don't really show emotion. And so I need that something. Um, don't give me robotronic dance. Give me like, you know, show your emotion. This is Eurovision. It's a song contest. Give me a really good bridge. If you're going to give me a really long instrumental chorus. I will say the instrumental chorus was pretty good though. There was a bit more than Fuego, it was just like. There's like a zzz sound. I don't know why it is. That's how I identify that sound. And then she, the only thing that does save it is that there is a replay, replay, and I love the replay. You need my love on replay. Kind of matches with the synth so it kind of sounds like the voice is an instrument i really love when singers can do that i love when singers can match their voice to like an electric guitar even a bass guitar yeah anything a piano um a synth uh violin anything just i love when they can do that i love when people match their vo vocals because it actually gives me the sense of like okay you use your voice like an instrument you kind of see a further purpose for your voice and you are very musical. That's the idea I get from it. So it's really well produced. I do like how the bridge slash chorus part actually changes at the end and has a much higher melody. That's why you call me, that's why you call me, that's why you call me, that's why you call me. It actually makes it more sophisticated and gives it that sense of dynamic. They don't just repeat that part like I said, I thought the melody in the bridge was so-so. And so by doing that it actually does, that's kind of like the melody that I wanted in the first place. They give that at the end and so it's making the vibe, nice vibes, it's giving the that moment, it's allowing it to get bigger and bigger. So I think that's a really good quality to have and I, I like that. And I'm glad that high part of the bridge also showed off a rather high part of her range. It showed something that I didn't realize she may have had. And so it actually shows us to be skilled singer and rather talented, pretty, pretty talented. They're all talented, but very talented. I thought that that was a really good call for having that at the end and it really showed off her artistry. So I really liked it. So that's it for now. The jury are going to react to Cyprus. Let's see what they think. You'd have to subscribe to see that video along with many more because guess what? We're all going to react and review to your country. So stay tuned. Until next time, bonsoir Europe and goodbye.